play um, Frankenfurter, who is a kind of uh, new variation on the mad scientist of horror films that we all know and love. It is parody, but it also, I'm, I play it and think it as a kind of grisly reality. And uh, Frankenfurter, as a variation on Frankenstein, is, a, is obsessed with, with image and the way that things look. And, uh, but I see him and play him as, as a kind of grisly, re real freak. You've scarce been out of drag now for about close on three years. How, mm. how sick of you are, are you of the, of the part? How much now do you want to escape? Um, well, it's sort of like Topsy, really. I mean, it's just growed, and, it, and one has to sort of go with it, really. Um, I found making the film more uh, annoying in that way than doing the play, because if you do the play, you, it's just two hours a day and that you're actually in it doing it. And the rest of the day, you're... You're, you're yourself. You're yourself. And doing the film, partly because I've never made one before, and so um, the work for me is total. Uh, I found it, for the first time, actually beginning to be a bit schizophrenic in that if you spend the whole day in a pound and a half of Max Factor, uh, at the end of the day, when you wipe it off, you, there's, there's always a little bit left in the cracks. I think the two hardest things have been... Well, one, the, the kind of ex extravagances, physical extravagances, that I used on the stage were very theatrical ones, and I've tried in the film to make them f filmic ones. I mean, I mean, that will do as a film gesture. And on the stage, one would maybe do that. It's very much a musical. Um, and a lot of the energy of the whole event is in that, is in the music. I mean, I think... It, it is pastiche, certainly, but I think it sort of stands on its own, too. I mean, it's beginning to more and more, which is very nice. I'm coming back to the project, which I hold very dear. It's been exciting. It will be interesting, because it's very close to me. Very naughty 